is known as a phase difference now uh, using one simple figure uh, we find out the what is phase difference see in first figure there is a and b signal both are overlapping each other so it is a dark line both are overlapping each other because there is a phase shift or phase difference is zero degree both are in the same direction so there is a no any phase difference the so both signals are lying on the each other but in a second figure the phase shift or phase difference of 90 degree see in this vector diagram a and b are at 90 degree so in waveform a started earlier then b is started so a and b there is difference of phase is 90 degree in third figure there is uh, a is lagging b is leading so b start earlier and a start then after so again phase difference of 90 degree third figure is important there is a phase shift or phase difference of 180 degree that means that both a and b signals are in opposite direction then phase shift of 180 degree and it may be a phase shift of some angle like 30 40 45 or may any angle so that is at any angle of theta and then two signals having some phase difference or it is known as a phase shift so uh, one figure or this some figures are explaining what is the phase difference or what is the phase shift okay next is a phase sequence the order in which the phase voltage of polyphase system reach their maximum value see the order is important in which the voltage are reached to their maximum value if the phase of these three phase system are given in the standard color of red yellow blue in this phase sequence is said to be a positive sequence see in the figure there is uh, first signal is three number then after two number and then after one number so there is a some sequence of color or some sequence of phase that means three to one three to one three to one that means that one pattern is going in same way then it is known as a phase sequence now one important example from ac circuit expression for equation of ac current is given by i equal to 70.7 sin 340 t 314 t ampere find out maximum value frequency rms value and angular frequency time period the average value so we have to find out the six values and data is given into the uh, equation in, into the question now what is data data is given current equ i equal to 70.7 sin 314 t so uh, let's see see current i equal to 70.7 sin 314 T. now compare this equation with i equal to i m sine omega t when we comparing we get 70.7 is a value of i m and we compare omega t with this value here we get i m equal to 70.7 ampere and similarly when we compare that we get omega equal to 314 radian 314 radian so omega is the angular frequency i m is a maximum value so by comparing we can get all the answer so here seven uh, six problems are asked into the question so see in the ppt what have given the first by comparing we get i m equal to 70.7 ampere it is a maximum value of current 
second is angular frequency omega equal to 3 1 4 radian per second it is a radian per second okay now see into the ppt uh, we have to find out the frequency frequency uh, we have the relation omega equal to 2 pi f now we put 2 pi f equal to 3 1 4 so uh, by dividing the 2 pi we get frequency equal to 50 hertz now rms value now i rms equal to i m upon root 2 now what is the value of i m i m value of i m is 70.7 ampere so put here 70.7 uh, denominator under root 2 by taking the division we get the value of current is 50 ampere now average value equation of average value is 2 i m upon pi so 2 i m is again maximum value of current maximum value of current is 70.7 ampere and value of pi is 3.14 by solving the equation we get 45.03 ampere see always the average value is less than the rms value because rms value is always uh, 0.7 of maximum value and average value is 0 0.6 of 0 0.63 of maximum value so see maximum value is 70 ampere then rms value is less than that uh, 50 is less than 70 and similarly average value is again less than that means 45 is again less than 50 so this sequence should be maintained or you you have to check using the value that our answer is correct or not so uh, it is a short trick to remember the answer always check out for the maximum value rms value and average value they are in correct order or not and second and important is time period t equal to 1 upon f time period to complete the cycle t equal to 1 upon f so 1 upon uh, frequency is a uh, 50 hertz so 1 upon 50 gives 20 millisecond so to complete one cycle we require the 20 millisecond so uh, this is the question for a uh, 7 mark okay uh, so here we complete our session uh, for uh, today's lecture we have uh, completed our two questions for a uh, different different of electrical circuit questions uh, some of the important are ohm's law and the faraday's law which are asked every time into the exam so morely concentrate on that and some of the numerical parts uh, are also asked so best of luck for the paper and in the next session we will go to the next question number three four and five thank you very much